Welcome to this afternoon Catapult Lockdown Virtual Saloon for my discussion with Johnny P. Gordon, who lives and works in Jamaica. Before we begin, I'd like to express a huge thanks to the Catapult partners, including the American fans of Jamaica, Kingston Creative, and Fresh Milk, for making this service of Saloon happen. Please feel free to ask your questions in the comment section during the talk which we'll get to in the question and answer segment of the Saloon. Now, I'm very happy to welcome to join us um, Johnny P. Gordon. Hello, Johnny. Hi, Hello, Johnny. Hi, Jonah. Hi, Johnny. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Uh, very good. I'm just going to in a very short um, presentation of you, a little portrait of you. Johnny um, P. Gordon, so you were born in Manville, Manchester, in Jamaica, yeah. right? In 1997, yes. we can say it. Huh? <laughs> yes. and, and you're now based in Kingston. Yes. You are um, graduated last year, in fact, um, with a BFA in photography, the 2019. And uh, you have a passion for sculpture and photography. That's how you depict yeah. yourself and which you explore um, well and world at the Edna Manley College where you've been graduated, correct? Yes. Correct, correct. Being a tactile learner, you said, Johnny, you merge your love for using your hands with your photographic skill, bringing about a marriage of the two mediums that challenges the conventional boundaries of photography. So we're going to start, you know, with, um, I, I want to say something also. You, also, we all know we are, you are very young, which is fantastic yeah. because you have a long way to go. Oh, really and you <laughs> have, you know, I mean, researching, you know, and, you know, as artists to be mature and continue. And I'm amazed because you start in a very young age and right after doing your, your graduation to still unveil a subject that is essentially not often displayed or talk about. Meanwhile, it is a scourge of today, which is about harassment. So we will go through different series that, you know, focus differently on how and where to depict and the feeling and the concept of harassment. As we mainly know, there are like three major types of harassment. You have the moral psychological harassment, you have the sexual harassment, and the discriminatory harassment. Often they get linked, eh? a moment of the other. Mm -hmm. And it's a very um, violent, the discriminatory and the moral all of them are very violent for people, you know, who go through it. And it is from a personal experience that you're going to bring up your art. Yes. You want to tell us about it? I know you're going through, you're going to flew to, from Jamaica to the U.S. for yes. working condition, but yes. not, not as a student, that's important, <laughs> you know, and having a subaltern position also. So, you, I mean, you're becoming vulnerable for many reasons. If you want to tell us a little this experience to start with, so people can, we can give a context of this, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in 2018, I went on a work and travel exchange program. And this program is where you have college students get an opportunity to go to the US to work and gain funds. Mm -hmm. So most college students do this because they, it aids them in, in financially, financially to help them to post for their college tuition and so forth. So that was my main goal of going over there. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my experience was not a pretty one at all because mm -hmm. I experienced a lot of racial discrimination while I was over there because I was black and I'm also a female as well. So I, the work that I did was, I was a room attendant. So I would clean rooms in hotels and their boat. And we were given, as in black people, mm -hmm, we were given mm -hmm. of the work to be done. We get most of the work to be done. Um, we were called different names, like we were called the female dog to say, the B word. Can, can you tell? Repeat that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, 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 it was from your supervisor. Yes, my supervisors who were actually you Spanish. Are, you, you were like being har harassed by your, your supervisor, right? Yes, yes, by my supervisors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you see? Okay, and we were male or female on both, yeah, on both sides. And female. And mm -hmm. Is the, the other worker uh, with you were also being harassed? I guess so. Yeah. But... 
of us yes. more you how i mean it was a group of jamaicans so all of us went up together and all of us were treated very very badly we were even called jamaican donkeys just very, very badly okay very badly okay mm -hmm, mm. and uh, okay okay we're, we're going to so for people to kind of um see what we're talking about express it also um we can have slide one slide one and you will tell us about how it is made of um philip uh, yeah, maybe we, may we have slide one it's a uh, brown paper um paper mash paper mashi papi mashi paper mash mm -hmm. uh okay it's, it's coming it's coming so Yes, and so I, it's abstract forms okay over here yes you want to tell us about mm -hmm. so this is an yes. installation that was done for my final year show or examination so after that experience i used art as therapy to help me to get to the experience that i had so it was a journey through journaling my process started through journaling to kind of get out all of how I felt, all the emotions that I felt. Then I went on to photographing my mm -hmm. body in, in very cocooned kind of um, suppressed kind of positions. Then from there, I went on to turning those images into silhouettes that you can see on the wall with the brown background. Those are silhouettes of my body itself. Then from there, I went yeah. to create these structural forms. And the forms, I use um, brown paper for that, papier mache as you mm -hmm. said earlier, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. are basically abstract forms of the human body, the black body. So the cardboard is representative of the skin, the black skin, and each form has words branded on them. Like um, and you have word also. You, yes. You, you, you wrote words in it, like object, like slave, yeah. like, I mean, you know, yeah. uh, shame maybe, I don't know, you know, you know there is a repertory of different words that I mean you were being that you heard on you I mean you know and uh, it's interesting because you walk these abstract forms have a sense at the same time of heaviness but yeah. you know when we look at them they have they are flowing melting at the same time you know is mm -hmm. it a collapse for you I mean you know what I mean when you went through something so harsh you know you're just collapsing mm -hmm. so they tend to stay up but at the same time, they cannot stand completely up front, you yes. know, so, yes. you know, okay, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's a hurt, it's a, you, you're talking about something very serious. I mean, it's a scourge, scourge, we said, you know, of today's yes. contemporary mm -hmm. world, yes. you know, um, mm -hmm. hardness in working relationship, as I was saying earlier. And, you know, and uh, so may I say that you walk was a way um, very quickly, you adapted your work already. You just went on and grabbed what this new thing that makes you, you know, because yes. at a young age, going through that is not, it's not innocent. I mean, you know, it's very mm -hmm. like, it's safe, <laughs> right, okay. So, and you, you grab it to make it even yourself being stronger or, you know, or even like mm -hmm. a better person, you know, and giving a voice to all of these women and people who don't have a voice, you know, about it, you know. Yeah. All right, yeah. So you, you, you know, so you, we, we can see like make it like a details of it, you know. Um, but if you want to go on, I see your an installation. It's an immersive, I mean, you know, installation. You know, for people to walk in and to go around the sculpture, because yeah. in then you have a three dimension. You know, so that's how it is different for them to treat a subject in a three dimension versus a two dimensional, you know, um, yes. depiction. And that's, that's the reason why I moved from photography because I wanted to move beyond the frame of the camera itself. So a more three dimensional, mm -hmm. something that's more tactile that you can relate to, most persons can relate to. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this uh, you allow you some kind of more, uh, I would yes. say freedom or another way freedom. to yeah. introduce a subject. Okay. Yeah. You know, I've just thought, but now looking at your pieces, I was thinking about how it would be to have a choreographer, a dancer, yes. you know, we've been thinking of his theme into it, you know, it's just accidentally, yes. you know, I had it, or someone slamming or poetry, you know, going on, you know, making like a, a transversal, I mean, like a, a conversation within your forms and, a human, and someone in another art 
um, field, you know, you yeah. know, just an idea, you know. Maybe we could work on that at on, you know, yes, definitely. Yeah, so we, we, we can, <laughs> yeah, that's a little idea. Well, let's get on slide two, because I think there is like a detail of its forms. Um, you know, Philip, on slide two, you can see like this form, you know, at the same time, they are, they have something a little of scary. Do you see what I mean? I feel it me at the same time. And the way, the way it is writing, it's graving. It's like, you know what I mean? It's, um, what, what, what did it use um, for the writing? Well, like it's, said, a, it's, it's cardboard underneath. And then I paper mache it over the cardboard to kind of give this kind of embossing kind of feel. Or I also mm -hmm, try mm -hmm. to it to branding during slavery time, during the time of slavery. Okay, yes, okay. And as we can see that, so you practice photography and then photography kind of um, make you have sketches in quote for doing the yeah. forms, right? So, okay. Yeah. And then right. on the third slide we're going to see now, um, you, um, I mean, the subtitle of all your series is somehow racial discrimination via travel, yes. right? Yeah, I mean, in a sense, you know. Then, mm -hmm. um, Philippe, let's see, yes, this, yeah, these silhouettes. I mean, there mm -hmm. are silhouettes. Can you tell us about technically how you made it, that happen? You made that happen? Okay, so after, so after journaling, I photographed myself in different suppressed kind of positions. As you can see, it's very cocooned or it's kind of feeling hurt yeah. in a way. Yes, and curling up, squatting, kneeling, back view. Yes, yes. looking yes. for protection somehow also, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And from there, I, I kind of went into Photoshop and just removed all the features that represents the body, like elements of the body, like the arms and so forth. So I just focused on the outline of the image that I... Mm -hmm. that I which turned them and made them black and turned them into, mm -hmm. as you can see. Right, okay. So you're getting the hurt, you know, you, 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 you unquote, your model do not look at people, they don't look at the viewer. Do you, is it like a form of shame or of despair? I mean, you know, of not even being able to, um, how can I say that, face, you know? I mean, you know, it's interesting because you could have this confrontation, look, you know, from, the point of view and you daring someone and you asking you know okay you owe me you know excuses you owe me rightness you know mm -hmm. but meanwhile it's usually how victims are unfortunately you know because okay. they are inhabited with culpability usually the harasser make you think it's your fault meanwhile yeah. it's absolutely not your fault of course <laughs> I, I guess you experienced that as well you, you know you went through that mm -hmm. yes yeah. Because we were mostly suppressed, but well, I felt suppressed because if, for instance, um, you're treated badly, you can't, you can, but there are consequences. So if you do speak up against what's happening, they will send you back to your homeland, just send oh, you back without okay. or anything, they will just send you back and you have to find your way from there. So, pe so some of the people who go there do hope to stay in the U.S. They do yes, hope that it's like the first job and then they'd be able to, you know, explore, develop themselves in the U.S., right? Exactly, yes. Oh. Which, which were not completely your case, or was it your case? No, that wasn't my case. Um, we, had, we had four months to be in the U.S. and work for four months. Okay, so but you were a witness. Yeah. Mm, sorry? Mm -hmm. so but you, you, mm -hmm. I'm saying so far, if something happens and you want to report, say, for instance, your supervisor did something to you, they will deny it. And they can send you back before your four months is up. You were you had um, belong you for file of women who were in the U.S. to work in in order to send money to the homeland. Is that you? There were people in this situation, right? Yes, there are different reasons why people go on the program for, but it's mainly financially financial reasons. Many financial reasons. So that's very, uh, yeah, that's very, very hard. Okay. And, then, and meanwhile, you know, um, you silhouette are very graceful. Uh, of course, people may, may have told you that, that the recallers of Kara Walker's work, who she speak about raping of so tough mm -hmm. subject during slavery time, you know. And does Kara Walker play a role for you in your work? 
repeat that? No, it's Kava Walker, the American uh, artist, played a role. Was it like, and uh, not influence, but did, uh, does she inspire you somehow? Yes, she does. She does actually because she speaks up against about what occurs during the time of slavery and what's happening now. And because of that, it it gives me confidence. Actually, her work gives me confidence to speak up against what happened to me and let the world know what mm -hmm. happened. No. It's no different from what mm -hmm. is happening back then. Do, do, do you know of other artists who kind of secure you to be able to have the voice to out loud, you know? Yes, Garden Parks. Garden Parks, the photographer, Garden Parks, he mm -hmm, speaks mm -hmm. about, um, takes photographs about segregation um, during the Civil War era. And that he also gives me confidence as well to go when you got back home, maybe it's a personal question, I don't know, you answer to me or not. How do, when you were telling your story, how do you people back home, um, how can I say, react? How, how was the listening that you had? If you have listening, I hope you did, but, you know, um, how, <laughs> how people react, you know, after you, you came back and you were saying what happened to you? A lot of persons, they were shocked, actually, to actually believe that I went through what I went through because pre previous um, persons who went on the program, they don't talk about it. They don't let it known. They, they would just talk about the good or how much money they made, but they don't really talk about the harassment that they faced. So me saying, speaking up again about it, it was shocking to a lot of persons. And they were saying how strong I was, you know, to be actually, to actually go through for the four months um, over there. Yeah. Yes. It is still a very taboo subject, you know, um, and meanwhile it is a globalization of suffering, you know, at work, I mean, you know, um, and I think sincerely, I don't know, I mean, around my people, or my environment, you know, so many people have stories, you know, like this, I mean, harassment, you know, yeah. so it's really, it's something so common, but we should never let it be like in a, being treated as a normal situation, but it's, exactly. because it is not, of course, a normal situation, you know. So that's why it's courageous, you know, and that you speak about it, you know, and you go on in your art. I have another thing um, I, I, I wanted to ask you is um, after that, you know, when you start practicing on the subject, how did you feel yourself in before you were doing your art on the subject and after? Did you feel it, the difference? I mean... Yes, I actually did. So my previous works were... There was some tie, tie, tie between with race, but it wasn't as deep as when I returned from the U.S. and experienced what I experienced. It mm -hmm. because of the trauma that I faced and the scars that I got from all the experience, it gave me more what is it, insight to do more work and better work than what I was doing before. And as I said mm -hmm. before, it was therapy, so it actually helped me to get over, not really get over, but to, you know, make it a little subtle, the way I'm, I was yes. feeling. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I also, yes, definitely. And what I also um, I noticed, you know, it's how um, I thought that the name, how you named your pieces, you know, it's up forward, you know, yes. compared to what we are saying. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean, you know? And, um, um, you know, racial discrimination, it's up forward, it just said. And then the piece is very much more, I mean, you know, it, it gives a multiple, of course, of interpretations, you know, of it, you know. Yeah. And uh, so, and there is another piece that I would like us to see um, right now. It's like, they remain the same. That's also a piece that you did. Um, so, Philip, it's like the fourth piece called they remain the same. What do you mean by that? They remain the same because let's talk about this piece. You see that it's mixed medium, right? It's photography and then um, digital. Um, I mean, right. I, 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 I let you, you know, um, depict, you know, um, the trapped traptic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's the work. They remain the same comes from the saying: the more things change, the more they remain the same. So here mm -hmm. I am. Try, I'm tying the, the present with the past. So mm -hmm. the, the drawing of the slave master is representative of the past. 
and the the, the, the the subject is the representative of the future. And if you can see that each subject has, is that the, the, the slave master is whipping the subject. And after yes. that whipping, the subject has scars, but these scars are actually racial slurs, <clears throat> sorry, racial slurs printed on the back. They are vivid, yeah. but not really, because we don't, we see it, it's present, but it's not really present, if you get what I'm saying. Not yeah, completely. And, and you know, um, the first image you're seeing, like, um, with, I think it's a master, you know, um, going yeah. on and, you know, hurt in the back, you know, mm -hmm. and then is leaving, but the back stays, and then you're yeah. making like a focus on it, you know, afterward, yeah. How, this is what stays within time. Yes, you know, and we things, have to you know. with all the trauma that comes after that. It just leaves and, us to deal with everything after. And we're carrying this trauma, you mm -hmm. know, this trauma. And it is true in harassment, you're, I mean, people, that's the difficulty of it, you know, how long they're carrying the trauma, you know, this kind of trauma. Yes. And, um, you know, completely. And also, um, 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 on this, um, so it's you have photography, but what is this? On mix, it's a mixed media, right? I mean, what do you have yet? It's, it's photography and digital computer, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is it. It's, so basically, it's it's like a composite. Yeah, we're joining elements together digitally um, with the use of Photoshop to bring them together. So each element is different. So pull them in so the picture is of myself actually and then I drew digitally the same mm -hmm. one and the words the the zoomed up image of the back only the background you can see the background has its words those yes. are my entries during okay, my okay so there it goes and um the last um but not the least um we have like um like it's even more upward title tools this is it you know <laughs> so we have a space of a sculpture form a stock form with objects but then yes. they become tools and tools. what the tools yes. is yeah so may we have um the last slide and the tool is you the tool is a human being this is what yes. we end up of being that you were in the past. We, we have been sad in the past, you know, I mean, you know, during the, the slavery time, you know, and then we back up, I mean, you know, in a different, it's still about exploitation of people. I mean, we're dealing yes. also with, you know, exploitation of people who are vulnerable, who are um, subaltern, you know, and, and, and unfortunately, we often find the same people in, the, in bad conditions, you know, I mean, you know, you know, uh, uh, I, I mentioned that because, um, you know, there is um, the concept of the little chief, the supervisor or little chief, you know, and usually these little chief are very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, sometimes and often they have been themselves going through harassment. So mm -hmm. it's a true sadness to see that people who go through harassment, we think they have enter this experience and they will be a better person or you know i mean it will change their point of view their mind but it happened unfortunately that often they go on they have been harassed and they go and then harass other people always a need it's abuse of power you know it's the question of abuse of power you know so you have to be like the abuse of someone else you know in a sense you know so let's t tell us about this piece it's um it's photography right and uh it's you I guess. Yes. <laughs> Johnny, yes. <laughs> so the so work, it, it's showing the human form as the human person as the tool, along with the actual tool that the person is using. So my experience actually showed me that my supervisors didn't see me as a person or as a human being. I was seen as a yeah. tool, to clean. And yeah. that's all yeah. I was so they didn't care about how I felt while they were um, harassing me or anything. They just say clean, 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 and get it done, and then move on. Productivity. They would ask you for productivity, because, yes. you know, high high productivity, which is what's killing, yes. you know, also you know the working conditions, you know, relationship, and uh, and you did not have any way except them to go up forward to be to explain what was going on, right? Yes. There's no way for you. Or 
Okay, so you were kind of trapped in a sense, you know. And uh, so you were being like your body a tool, I guess, tiredness. You also have, you know, you yeah. know, um, I know there are like um, photography that I saw um, on the, of you with tiredness, making when the tool, you know, just collapsed, you know, you couldn't go through anymore, you know. And yeah. then you waking up, it was cold. I'm not sure if you eat well. I no. Have, no. <laughs> yeah, you did not eat well. <laughs> Very like bad condition for sleeping. So it was like, and you spent four months like that, right? Four months in yeah. these conditions. For four months. Four months. So there is another artist I think uh, interesting also, um, a Jamaican artist who did like a, a porcelain um, service, Monique Gilpin. I don't yes. know if I pronounced correct. I pronounced right, yeah, Monique. Right. How do you pronounce her last name? Gilpin. You're right. Monique Gilpin? Gilpin. 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 Okay, Gilpin. Okay, that's correct. Gilpin. Mm -hmm. And she's having also this um, figure that their head gets into the wall. Yeah. I mean, we don't see no, her I... face. We just see. Yeah. You, you want to tell us about it a little? Yes. Well, so her work is the porcelain series is about instability that young people face. So. Basically, she used porcelain as a form of like a metaphor for us because we in the Caribbean, we have um, things you call figurines and they're yeah. made from, mm -hmm. yeah, they're made from um, ceramics and porcelain. So we use that's her symbol to show stability in a house. But she's showing that young people is hard to find stability during that form. But what I loved about her work is that it it ties with my work in the sense of the form of her, mm -hmm. of her the formally no identity the bodies are just within a space and that's what i admired about her work mm -hmm. okay okay completely and uh, so from when you got back in jamaica i have another question what what if you can name an object that secure that secures you when you go back to Jamaica? Oh no, more, more. When you were away and you were going through that, through all this violence, you know, this suffering, you know, this indi indignity, you know, and alone, because I guess you felt very in isolation. That's a basic, you know, that's why they were attacking you. They know you were coming from Jamaica. I mean, yeah. there's a way slight to go back home. So you, you're trapped, you know, in a sense, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, what the images or an object that you recall to stand up, to stay strong, to to not collapse? Well, or one of the, or several objects or, or, or image or metaphor or you know. It's mostly the warmth and the beaches and like even things that I used to do it during my childhood. For instance, being marbles and using the catapult to catch, to catch birds and stuff like that. Those things kind of keep me grounded and even family as well, keep me grounded to know that I am going mm -hmm. to get through this and I'm going to go back home. So I'm not here for long, I'm going to go back home. Yes. Because over there- you wish to have, uh, did, did, did you wish to have your catapult and your marble balls up there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to use it. <laughs> but when, when you're talking about the warmth of your land, of your country, of the island, and, uh, and the beaches, is it about a smell, or maybe the, or the smell of the warmth, or mm -hmm. and the how this calmness as well. Mm -hmm. The calmness of of the of the the water and the smell of salt and the sand between toes. It's just relax. The relaxation of it all. That's what kept me grounded in Jamaica. It yeah. was like your cocoon, kind of, you know, you were, it, it, it gave you some kind of an aura to kind yeah. of protect you from yeah. them, from, from what you were going through, okay, and uh, what kept in your mind, okay. Yeah. And um, so, um, okay, that's very interesting. And now, what are you going to work on? I mean, have you, um, this is your last series, I guess, it's um, the photography, it's um, when you were doing um, the cleaning in the hotel room, right? And now yeah. you're back in Jamaica. Um, mm -hmm. How can I say that? What, what, what is the next step? What, is, what, what, what do you have in mind now? Okay, so for now, I am focusing on 
the agencies still along the lines of work and travel, but the agencies that send these college students to the US without giving them enough details as to what actually they're going to experience. So these agencies, they just say, okay, because we are paying them. So they don't care. I don't think they care about um, the fact that we're going to be um, racially discriminated against or the most thing they talk about is the weather and the work that we have to do, nothing else. So we are we so, are just okay. in uh -huh. to, to work. They're, so they're not doing a following, basically. I mean, you just, I mean, as soon as you, you left, they don't care, there's no following. There is supposed to be following, but when we do complain or say anything to them, it's like, okay, we'll get back to you. Keep like we'll get back to you. Keep nothing. We don't get any form of help at all. We are just there. Mm -hmm. And in which way are you? So you you're working on that. In which way do you think you're going to? Um, how can I say it? Um, explore it. I mean, you know, are you going to go with a denunciation of it or? I mean, in which way? With a manifesta? I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm just, you know. Uh... <laughs> yes, <fine. laughs> I was to use their brochures, you know, to show, like, you know, their brochures show all the happy the things that are going to happen, all the good things that are going to happen. I'm thinking to tweet those brochures to show the exact thing that you're going to experience while you're there. Just Getting up for while the truth. Forward, yes. Up forward too. Oh. No sugar coating. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. It's a reverse exoticism in a sense. You know what I mean? It's like the U.S. as if it was like the exotic yeah. place that you know that we are fantasy. I guess you know because Jamaica is an island very linked to the U.S. I yeah. mean, I know that you know you have in the Caribbean islands that are more linked with the United States, and Jamaica is one of them. I think, of course, Cuba is its own history also with the U.S. But Jamaica is one of them, you know. In which way in the U.S. it has a strong length, link or length, I mean, connection with, uh, with the U.S.? How? So the connection really is getting a better life, really. Moving from your homeland to the U.S. to get a better life. That's the main connection I see. Because we see where parents would leave their children and go to the U.S. Mm -hmm. and and they will just send things to their children, but there's no form of emotional connection with them. So it's okay. just better life, quote unquote, actually, because they are experiencing discrimination as while they're over there. They're just getting better life in terms of finances, but they will succumb to everything mm -hmm. bad, everything else that's bad, just to get the money, basically. So it's an economic situation. So this yeah. is you're going there. Um, being used as, as an object, you know, being used as an economic tool, you know, for people to make better resources for themselves. You know, yes. I mean, you know, you know, yes. you're okay, okay, I see. And there is a, a, a strong um, Jamaican community in the, in the U.S. Where, where were you, New York? No, I was, I was not where the Jamaicans were at all. I was in Wisconsin. <laughs> I was far from. Ah! <laughs> so okay, was, okay. There's not much culture there, like Jamaican culture in Wisconsin at all. <laughs> so. Okay, I got you even better. So the isolation mm -hmm. is bad there. Okay, I got yeah. you better because in New York, you know, I know there is like a strong Jamaican community who has resources. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you could have lawyer. Um, mm -hmm. doctor, you know, to be able to um, examine you and, you know, I mean, to push you on something. But, mm -hmm. okay, you were in Wisconsin, which is like a different area. I mean, it's a different field. So mm -hmm. that also why it was so, I mean, a sense of impunity for the people who were, you yeah. know, supervising you. But it's interesting because I get the Spanish people, your supervisor who were Spanish, they were Spanish from the island or on Spanish from the continent? I mean, if there's southern people? Or... I think, yeah, I think it's from the island, not from the continent. From the island, island. yeah, yes. from the island, yeah, okay, yeah. persons in Wisconsin as well. That's, a, that's another subject also, I mean, of course, I mean, there's so many things we can, you can explore and continue um, to traduce in your art, you know, 
But it's yeah. to see that, you know, as we were saying before, um, um, the sadness, you know, that how to get out situations like this. How to get out, I'm not only talking about a situation of the moment that you're being harassed, but how to transform this world. And I think that in your work, there is like a temptation, you know, to see how to transform it. And that's why you want to work on this brochure that yeah. are lying. I mean, you know, yeah. uh, uh, are selling fantasy, you know, I mean, <laughs> you know, so that's very interesting. Uh, maybe um, we may have um, uh, over um, a question, maybe we do have a um, question. Um, ca ca can you see if we have some, I mean, people just join us, please, ladies and gentlemen, do not hesitate um, to, um, to ask us questions, ask to um, journey questions. So I don't know if like, if you can read some questions coming up, Johnny. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know, not ready, not yet, yet not yet. Um, there is something also going on is new forms that you are doing at first in sculpture. Um, there is a notion of um, distort, being distort, but it's not only in a physical sense; it's also in a mental soul. Mm, mental yeah. um, sense, I mean, you know, of the distortion. Um, can you tell us a little more about, uh, for you, what is it, a notion of distortion? I didn't get you know, that. In, um, yeah. C c do, do, how will, will, you, will you describe your own notion of distortion? You know, being distorted, being destroyed, being, you know, how in your forms, you know, I mean, what was the genesis of it, you know, in a sense? You went on, you said, okay, I want to speak about this, what I felt and I experienced. I'm going to get back from a personal story. From a personal story, I'm going to, what is the, um, you know, the thread you pull to get on? Well, it was mainly about how suppressed I was really. That's how the distortion came about in the work. The, the suppression was unbearable because we, it was like you're, you experience what you're experiencing, but you can't say anything about it. So you're keeping it inside and, it, it, and it's just tearing you away piece by piece. So that's where the distortion really came about. So it came about. And, but how you, so you wrote down, did you have a journal? I don't know, something, you know, yeah, and you wrote in. Yes, so there, before I even start creating art, I always try to journal everything, write down every, how I'm feeling, the experience by details. And I also even interviewed other Jamaicans who were actually on the program mm -hmm. with, to kind of get their experiences as well. And from there on, I went about and started to create Great mm -hmm. Okay, so oppressions, okay. And um, I have another thing. So in you all series, so we can see that you 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 depicted female body, but not so much male body as um, there's a Jamaican male who are working also with you in the same um, yes, um, job, you know. They were also harassed. Yes, they were actually. <laughs> yes, they were. But I was mainly focusing on my personal experiences, hence the reason why I didn't even use males. So I used myself yes. actually, so without using even the males. That was the main Why? Reason. Why, why? You speak from your own voice only and not like within like a collective consciousness for the others? I mean, although you, your voice become speak for all the others, of course, you know. Yeah. But it, it didn't um, come to you um, to see how to evolve, involve, sorry, the other um, male and female people? No, not really. It did, but I didn't want to because it, that was mm -hmm. my, that's how I was, it was therapy. That was my therapy. So I was trying to. Yes. Yeah. So that's why I used myself in the work itself. And when you shared with your other colleagues that you left in the U.S., the other Jamaican people, when you mm -hmm. shared your work, did you share your work with them and how they react? Well, <laughs> it's, 
it's almost when they see my work it's almost like it's bringing back memories for them when they see the work and see that this is act this is actually what i went through and it's even bring makes them even emotional actually to see what they have to go through just to get money to help mm -hmm. them post and you know it makes them mm -hmm. even stronger actually you make them in a sense understand better the experience I went through. They were able to yes. identify and named it. Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, so, and I think the material will be interesting in working, in forms. I mean, in sculpture. I mean, are you planning after paper, after paper mache, paper mache? Um, do you have other material medium you would like to work on? Um, that you yes, think we fit for your subject? No, I haven't thought of using another material at all. Because I think I love the brown paper and what it represents in terms of mimicking skin. I love mm -hmm. that brown paper on the paper mache. Because so it's I've... not soft. It's... Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. And so also it's a very like easy to find material, you know? Yes. Uh, it's interesting, and it's also used in the U.S. of one pepper to hide things. So we're using one pepper in order to hide things. I mean, I'm thinking about the alcohol because I have a different policy, for instance. So people mm -hmm. are able to drink in the street, but you have to hide it. Meanwhile, everyone knows you're drinking alcohol with this pepper bag, you know. So, so it's her, yeah, it's her, this hypocritical system we are in. Yes, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And and are you going to pursue, I guess, to combine photography and sculpture. And have you yes. think about um, 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 movement images? I mean, you know, um, video or, you know, I mean, so, so, w image of movement, film or? I would more think about documentary, like interviewing documentary. persons. Yes, persons who have been on the program and what was what their experience was like? I'm um, thinking along documentary. That that okay, yes. and and after that you did your work. Um, were you able to find other artists, contemporary artists, who deal with this subject? Because I had a hard time finding people who dealt with the subject. I mean, you know, we have like the classical Susanna and the Elders. You know, this classical mm -hmm. um, scene, biblical scenes. You know, where you have um, yeah. painted by Rembrandt. Which is like a rape, which is like, you know, I mean, this, you have this young woman and you have this older man, you know, who are all around her, basically, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, um, um, pulling her for um, sexual relationship, you know, which is a rape. Um, but um, I didn't, so um, I didn't find any, I don't know if the audience who is like listening to us have seen many artists treating of this subject, of the harassment. I mean, sexual harassment, maybe a little more, but moral or psychological harassment and discriminatory harassment, you know, where we do deal with discrimination, but, you know, the notion, how do you depict harassment? How you would depict something so taboo that, you know, which is like still um, very difficult to bring out of the subject, you know, because it's difficult to identify at first, you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. Do, do, uh, have you seen after you you did this work, people who work on the subject? Well, no. it was in terms of my research. It was really hard to find artists who spoke about um, harassment in work. It was very harassment in work in the workplace. I will find interviews of people talking about it, different research, statistics, and they're about. But I don't, I would never see any sort of physio, any creative kind of work, even poetry or any form of visual yeah. uh, to even reference in my research. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, you know, I found that very interesting to see like how a scourge of today, um, you know, um, it's so few. I mean, you know, um, being depicted, you know, yeah. So, um, so please do not hesitate. If anyone has question for um, Johnny, we are more, you know, we are, um, you are welcome, you know, to um, write down and send your question, you know. Um, you chose, of course, um, 
we talk about the brown pepper, but black and white photography, black and I mean white, uh, black silhouette on um, up, up up to a white um, foreground. I mean you know background. I mean sorry. Also um, this kind of very like subtle. Um, how can I say it? Um, ochre. I mean this you know this um, natural color. You know um, as a background. You know. Of course, you, you're not into when you do when you do the other photography. It's black and white, but then you added the glove in yeah. color. I mean, I mean there are elements. Tell us a little about you know the choices you made to have colored on some of the objects. Yes, yeah, so to add color was to highlight it basically to let it mm -hmm. be seen and everything else in the in the photograph. That was the main thing. To highlight the tools itself. So, so truth become more important than the being. The being disappear yeah. almost. That's what yeah. you meant. I mean, you know, in the sense that the, the being disappear and the tools become important, you know, that we can see like the gloves, you know, I mean, every tool that we use for, you know, cleaning, you know. Mm -hmm. Journey, when you start your day, we're running, how long were your day when you were doing this job? I mean, months. you start at what time and you finish at what time? You know? oh, so we were supposed to work from nine o'clock to four o'clock. And sometimes uh, we get 30, up to 13 rooms to clean for uh, within that time. And it was, it's really hard. So I believe it's about, um, you're supposed to stay at least half an hour in each room. And you should finish before four o'clock, before the time. Uh, sometimes did you have... Uh, mm -hmm. No, sorry, go on, sorry. I was saying that Jamaicans, we the black persons, we got most of the rooms to clean. So you'd have um, Asians who would get like six rooms. So they will be finished. But then we have 30 rooms to clean. Like, it's like we have to be, keep on working, working, working until the end of the time. Yeah, okay. And, and do, 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 do you have a day off, Sunday, at least? Um, it's not set, actually. It's not set. So. Sometimes you go a week without getting a, uh, a day off. You get, you get one day, you're supposed to get one day off a week. One. Okay. Oh, we do have a question, Journey. We have a question. Do you have any plan to expand or exploring your artwork in another form? And also maybe collaborating with other artists exploring the same topic or another social topic or gender related topic? Yeah, because we talk about the working yes. condition made of use gender but you have also of course we all know you know i mean being a female and black and young but you know we know how this mission could go you know because you're homosexual because you know i mean all the different i mean ways of discrimination you know we have to face so yeah let's so let, uh, let's answer back to this question do you have um, any plan to expand you know expand your work can, can, can we have the question back I don't know if you have time to read it johnny Okay. Can you see it, Johnny, over here? So in terms of expanding my art form, I in terms I was I would think about it in terms of medium, in the sense where I would go about doing documentary, so that's video, like I was even thinking of the brochures would be actually posters. So they would be like mm -hmm. graphics. So there'll be graphics in that sense. So that's where I think about expanding my work in that form um collaborating with other artists i've never thought about that in all honesty i never thought about um collaborating with with if mm -hmm. i'm to collaborate with another artist i would love the artist to have the same experience that i had so that the work mm -hmm. could work. Yeah. but but you're open to that i mean we yes, can make I'm open open. Call. are you open to collaborating with yes i am of course open And to or another social topic or gender related task. Huh. How do, do you think you could work on that? I mean, to expand on other. Of course, of course. I believe my work ha can go through different streams. There are a lot of streams you can go through with my topic. There's a lot of things you can cover. So of course, I'm thinking I can go along the, the route of gender. And even migration. So, yes, of course. 
immigration, exile, you know, all of this can go yeah. on, right? Yeah, mistreating, oh, shad wood, um, you know, abusing for, um, okay, women in um, conjugal relationship, you know. Okay, so I see very much that. And uh, there is, uh, I was talking this morning about um, um, Rene Cox um, um, at, at lunch with um, Richard Victor, for a different mm -hmm. subject, but it's interesting when she's also this superwoman. She had all this work, which is mm -hmm. like not in the sense of the victim, but she's, I think that's why. I mean, she has to almost talk this uh, magical potion, you know, <laughs> and to get stronger. <laughs> and <laughs> yes. Be the superwoman, you know, the super black female woman, you know. Do you know the work of Mary Evans? Um, she does a work also with silhouette, you know. Yeah, She's um, from Nigeria mm -hmm. and live in the in in, in Britain in British, I think. In United Kingdom, yeah. You know a little work, no? Yes, I've seen her work, and it even reminds me of Carol Walker's work as well, with the silhouette forms and with a white background. But only thing she uses is brown paper, which I actually admire. <laughs> Yeah, she cut and passed one pepper, but her figure are starting up. Even when she deals with the crossing of the yeah. um, slavery crossing, you know, still mm -hmm. um, the picture, okay, some are, are, are sitting down, but most of them are standing up. Meanwhile, you, it's very difficult to see whatever your forms or in your photography or, um, or your silhouettes, they are not standing up. Even you on the photography, when you are cleaning, you are bending. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, looking at your, what you're doing, but still, you know, I mean, you're looking at the floor. It's like the difficulty to have your face, you know, getting up, you know, you know. So that was, I think, your work was a true therapy, um, in a sense, for you because you were able to get back yourself, your own dignity, you you put in, in a mirror, in a sense. You know what I mean? You know, are you ready to go back to the states um, in a working for working condition? Not at all. I'll go for vacation. Let's see. That's fine. <laughs> for vacation, but let's say let's say in a different way. Okay, to show you walk in a sense. Yes, that's yeah. yeah. You know, you're willing yeah. to go, but not in the yeah. same conditions. And you want mm -hmm. to prevent people to not get to not be abused. That's why you want to walk on this for sure. Yes, of course. Are you going yeah. to to give the brochure in airport or how can I say that? Have you thought about? Uh, in terms of communication, how are you going to di to display, to spread this brochure? Of course, I was thinking to just like pop up on the road and just give out brochures, just like that, um, along with okay. the exhibition itself. Even after the exhibition, I was thinking of giving out like flyers, just give them out for them to actually see and go in colleges and let them know exactly what they will be facing when they go on these work, work programs. Mm, okay, okay. And do you think that being in Jamaica is this, this problematic? It's still within you, or do you feel it now a distance from it? Well, being back in, in Jamaica? In a sense, I think it, it's still with me because certain songs I can't listen to and not remember what I went through. Because while I was over there, music was what actually kept me grounded as well. So when I hear these songs again, it's really hard because it's like I'm reliving what I experienced. So. And you you still have emotional, I mean, behavior yeah. when you hear them, right? I mean, you know, yeah. it's still difficult. I, I do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So uh, you in Jamaica, I'm sure there is also racism. Of course, you did not experience like you did in the U.S., but um, how racism is visible in Jamaica? It is in the sense of, we'll call it colorism or um, classism, in the sense where persons who are wealthy, they get better, ahead better in life, and persons who are of a lighter tone um, in their, in their mm -hmm. skin, they also get ahead in life. So, and it, even in mm -hmm. our music, it's like a cultural thing or even a social thing. Because in our music, everybody wants a brown skin girl over a dark skin girl. You even have parents calling their children, if they're dark skin, you hear them calling you black and ugly. So it's like they don't 
embrace their blackness at all. They're not given the chance to. So that's the that's the main mm -hmm. thing that we experience, and it is very much different from racism in the U.S. Because in the U.S., yes, it's in your face, in your face. But here, it's 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 subtler than how it is in the U.S. If you're if you're in the mm -hmm. U.S., you're black. You're black. It doesn't matter you're the shade of your skin. You're black. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They have a very hard um, time to be able to um, encounter <laughs> different yeah. origins, which of you know, course. compared to the Caribbean, we are more. I mean, we are more intelligent people. You know, we know like you know we are made of so many you know different ethnicity and cultural background and languages and you know I mean you know and uh, and stories. You know, we are able to grab and live completely fully with different stories. You know. Okay, yeah. so okay, thank you. Do you would like to say something else? You know, um, so we 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 hope to have you in the French West Indies. You know, I think um, you know, I think, uh, that would be wonderful to have yeah. them as a residency. Yeah, you know, that'd be wonderful. You know, and in the talking about discrimination, discrimination, discriminatories. I mean, um, have you read people who talk about it who? Kind of you, who gave you, who gave you strength. I mean, music helps you on a daily basis, right? But you yeah. know, literature, because you do have, um, if I think of Amy Cesaire discourses on colonialism, for instance, you know, where it depicts, you know, how, I mean, it's there and how it comes from through literature. Gobineau, I mean, over you know, different writer and how they made it something um, you cannot. I mean, it denounce, it makes it like your denunciation, you know, uh, on when he wrote discourses on, coloni co on, colo on colonialism. And, uh, but uh, I have a question, does writing, do you have any writer or writings that um, built you? Hmm. No, <laughs> no, not at all. No? No. Uh, not at all, okay, no, no maybe in the... So maybe it'll be interesting, you know, um, to get on, you know, um, for you to get onto that also, you know, um, you know, yes, yes, that'd be very interesting. So thank you very much, Joni. So I hope, you know, we keep in touch. And um, so, um, and now we're going to close um, the saloon, you know, again, we both of us, Joni and I, we are express a huge thanks to the catapult partners, including the Americans, France of Jamaica, Kingston Creative, I mean, you, your country, your island, I know, and Fresh yes. Milk of making this series of Saloon happen, you know. And please remember to join us for the next Catapult Lockdown Virtual Saloon at 1 p.m. on Tuesday, October, no, on Tuesday, not Tuesday, I'm sorry, on Friday, the 23rd. I'm, uh, so I'm repeating the next Catapult Lockdown Virtual Salon. It's on Friday, the 23rd of October, with Alim Hossin from Guyana, who will be in dialogue with Nyarus Walker Kayol from US Virgin Islands. And after that, we'll have at 4 p.m. Um, with Denise Robinson from Jamaica. You know Denise Robinson, I guess. Yes, I you do. do. All right. <laughs> so thank you very much. And uh, for the next catapult, so let's meet again for the next catapult. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> bye, Johnny. Bye.